morning, everyone, and welcome. I'm Mike Schluter. We're out today on a beautiful spring day, photographing some of the wildflowers here in my home state of Missouri. Have some beautiful bluebells in front of us. Now the wind's starting to pick up now, so we're we're at the point now that we're not going to be able to get too many more close-up photos because of these wind conditions. But early on, which is the best time to do this type of work, uh, wind is generally non-existent. You have some dew. We had some terrific dew on on the bluebells this morning and they just looked phenomenal and got some great shots. I used my traditional methods when we were photographing earlier. Uh, I white printer paper, I always take little reflectors. Even in this subdued light, you'd be amazed at how I just right now directed light up into those shadow recessed areas of these, these flowers. And it just, it just makes them pop. It makes all the difference in the world. Uh, it doesn't need to be dramatic. In fact, you don't want it to be too, you don't want it to be noticeable. You want it to just enhance. Usually less is more. Just subtle changes. It's it just amazing. When you try this, you're, you're going to be amazed at how it's going to take your photos to the next level. If you want a little bit more pop, then you have to be a little more cautious with this, but the aluminum foil is a terrific tool as well. I crumple it up so it's not a flat, specular sheet of foil. It gives a more diffused and bounced, uh, the, the light tends to bounce around a little bit, a little bit softer. But that's, of course, more a more specular light and a little bit more uh, contrasty. So you can play with it a little bit as well. I want to talk a little bit today also about using um, a tool that I use occasionally, not often for this type of stuff, but I have before and I certainly would encourage you to try it. And it is um, something you should have with you when you go out anyways and it's some type of a flashlight. Get a daylight balanced one, uh, meaning not a tungsten or not one of the bluish kind of light sources that, that are available with flashlights. Do a test. Uh, with a daylight balance on your camera, make sure it's going to be daylight balanced because you're going to be blending this with the ambient light. Now, many times at the end of the day or even at the very start of the day, the light is so low, you find a great subject, maybe you have to keep moving so you don't have the luxury of waiting till conditions maybe get better. Um, and you want to add some extra light. You, of course, could use strobe, you know, your hot shoe speed light with some type of diffusion. And once again, I do that, and most photographers do. That's an option. But here's a neat little trick that I think you're going to really like. Um, and it's painting with light with this. Set up your shot, pick your f stop, pick a shutter speed that maybe slightly underexposes the ambient light around you. I shoot in manual mode, so that's why I would recommend you do. And once you have that image that without use of your uh, flashlight is fairly dark or, or to the dark side anyways then you can then start you turn your light on and key it in on certain areas move it throughout the exposure and make your exposure assess the results and if you need to you know open your shutter up a little bit say from you know one fifteenth of a second to one eighth of a second or one quarter of a second do so and then try this or maybe uh, maybe bring the light in a little closer if the low the longer the shutter speed it's going to allow you to move the light around more into different places so you can get if the light level is very low you can get really creative with this and get for example you can get underneath here like now I'm creating some really dramatic light even in this fairly bright ambient light you'd be amazed how it just brought out texture and, and depth to this shot uh, under these flowers. And of course you have to be careful, keep your flesh out of frame and careful not to shine it right into your lens. So there's a few few areas, but you know you can assess as you're going and if you have a few mistakes you just redo it. You know it's uh, it's a little, lot of trial and error quite frankly. Uh, but right here just a quick little uh, splash of light across the front down into the deep recesses of these bluebells. Maybe a little rim light, a little backlight like this here and uh, you can create just some, some Looks, it looks so dynamic when you can get that light kind of coming in from different areas and different ways that, that can really just make your image look so unique as opposed to a straight shot like I have in front of me now. This is pretty soft light on it and it's nice light, but adding something like this here just takes it to the next level. I hope these tips have helped you. Get out and try this. I think you'll like it. I'm Mike Schluter and I look forward to seeing you next time.